What's going on guys? It's that guy with movies back here again. And today I'm going to be doing something maybe a little bit different, maybe radically different for this channel. Normally I usually, you know, go out and buy movies in that and I do a whole bunch of videos on that, but I don't think I've ever actually done a video where I'm going through my collection and I'm selling stuff. So, you know, I'm going to maybe show you guys a little bit of the process, maybe just going through some of the shelves and everything like that, like the ones behind me and everything, just to kind of weed stuff out, kind of clear out the collection a little bit, because I do have a big pile of movies beside my computer that I still need to put away. So, without further ado, I'll start, you know, kind of showing you guys some stuff that I do want to get rid of. It's in a big bag so anyway though let's start with that shall we all right guys we're over here by where i was literally just standing and uh here we go here is the bag full of stuff so far that i'm getting rid of as as you guys can see uh it's pretty full so i'll just uh you know go through some of these i probably won't go through like you know mostly all of them and that but I'll go through some of them with you guys, and uh, I'll just show you guys just some general stuff that I'm getting rid of. So, you know, just like some of the ones that I'm getting rid of are, oop, some stuff's already starting to fall, but uh, just some stuff, you know, I already have on Blu-ray, like I have the Divergent ones already, you know, just stuff that I have different editions of, like Starship Troopers, of course, I have the Super Bit version of that. Or, you know, mostly just stuff that I literally have no interest in whatsoever. I uh, I bought this one like a little while ago and I've never watched it, Winchester 73, but, uh, or just some, sorry, I have the camera there, but just also some stuff that, of course, I already have in my collection, like Wall Street. I have, I think, like one of the award slip covers, you know, Clerks, I already have that. Uh, just some, you know, more stuff here. Maybe I'll just do it like that, you know, of course. Uh, I have the other Purge movies on Blu-ray, so why would I even have Election Year on DVD? But, like, you know, The Queen I already have. Uh, Abyss, of course, I have all the Godfathers already. But, uh, here's some more stuff that I have here, like Lake Placid, uh, The Godfather. This Lake Placid DVD is full screen. I do like the movie, but it's just, I don't want full screen for that one. I want widescreen. Widescreen is the only way to watch a movie, but, uh... Apparently, if you guys want to sell any movie at all, uh, make it Never Say Never Again. If you guys do see this one at any, like, thrift stores or anything like that, be sure to check it, or be sure to buy it, I guess, because it's worth a lot of money. Because, of course, this is, like, an unofficial, like, Bond movie and that. But I did find this one at a library sale, and really glad because, basically, he gives me, like, 20 bucks just for this movie alone. And, uh... Yeah. It is complete and everything, so that is another big plus right there. And then, of course, Kingpin I already have, uh, you know, just some of the stuff. No interest in watching some of it, or just some movies, you know, I didn't like. Like, I did not like the War of the Worlds remake. Of course, Ernest Scared Stupid I already have. Hackers I already have. Nightmare on Elm Street 3 I have. Day After Tomorrow I have. Shrek I have. And uh, Water Horse, it wasn't that bad of a movie, but... Um, you know, just kind of have to, uh, pick through some stuff here, like, uh, this one, this wasn't a very good movie, uh, this Godzilla one, I don't really remember too much about that. Born Legacy I have on Blu-ray, of course, like, Lord of the Rings, I have all those, and, uh, yeah, I'm kind of just blowing through all this stuff here, like, thanks for sharing, this one's got, like, Mark Ruffalo in it, I have no interest in that, like, <laughs> Santa with Muscles, I... Do not think that I would ever watch that movie, so I bought it. It was out of print, and I'm sure I'll probably get some money for it. Like, Stargate, I didn't like that movie. Gran Torino, I already have that. Uh, just kind of more stuff I have no interest in watching, like The Robe. I bought that a little while ago. Uh, just some Amityville sequels. And some more stuff right there, like Os Osmosis Jones and everything like that. And... Just some more stuff here. Empire Records, I do have that already. Full Metal Jacket, of course I have that. Jumper, no interest. Boys in the Hood, I have. And, uh, yeah, there's just some more, like, kind of like kids' movies in here as well. Obviously, these aren't kids' movies, but, uh, yeah, those are those. 
and this is the last of the stuff that's on top here. So, like, you know, Talladega Nights, I already have that. Uh, Black Christmas, I've got no interest in keeping. Hotel for Dogs, uh, that one. And I'll just show you guys, like, what's just mostly, like, in the bag and that. If it is a little dark, I apologize. But, uh, yeah, just mostly stuff I already have or stuff that I don't really care for. Like, just movies I don't really care for. Like, Blades of Glory, I didn't like that movie. Um... Yeah, or just kind of like stupid stuff too. But yeah, that's pretty much uh, all what I have so far for these movies and that. Um, just kind of maybe show some stuff here like you know, Rocky Marciano, uh, Hard Boiled. I already have that movie on uh, on uh, like the Dragon Dynasty DVD. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much about it for all the stuff that is on top that I thought I'd show you guys. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much the stuff so far. So I will be going through all the shelves and everything, maybe even the Blu-rays as well, just to, you know, see what I have and see what, what else there is to sell. Alright guys, so just going through the, uh, the kind of first shelf of DVDs right here. Um, haven't really been seeing anything that I want to get rid of so far. Everything, of course, is just kind of, you know, classics and everything like that and stuff I really love. But, uh, you know, I found a couple of examples, I guess you could say, down here. Like, uh, The War Wagon with John Wayne. Am I ever going to watch this movie? Probably not, so I'll probably just put that one aside. But, uh... You know, everything else here seems to be pretty good. Uh, I don't know. I don't really know. I, bleh, I really don't know what else to get rid of on this little uh, this little shelf right here. But going into some Blu-rays, uh, not seeing anything on the first shelf, and uh, not really seeing anything on this shelf either that uh, I really want to get rid of. I know I kind of hoard some stuff, but. You know, there's some different editions that I want to have and everything. But, uh, you know, some of them, you know, I'm probably never going to watch. Or, um, you know, just kind of dumb movies and that. But not really, not seeing anything on that shelf that I want to get rid of. But over here, I know it is a little bit dark, sorry. But uh, we'll just keep going. We'll keep looking here. Uh, most of the stuff I do want to keep, but I'll try my hardest to kind of look for some stuff that I do want to, you know, get rid of, or maybe, you know, sometime in the future I want to get, like, a better copy of, like, a better edition, so to speak, I guess, but, uh, over here, well, I don't know, guys, I might have to stop filming and take a little bit of a closer look, because... Just on camera here, I'm not really seeing anything that I want to get rid of, which is uh, just besides that one little western right there. Um, that's about it. So maybe I'll kind of shut this off right now and uh, just take a little bit of a closer peek and see what else I have to sell. Well, all right, guys, just went through my entire collection. I know I showed you guys just these couple of shelves plus, uh, you know, how am I going to do this? My Blu-ray shelf right there. And I only found, like, a pile of stuff that I want to get rid of. So, you know, that's pretty much going to do it for my entire movie collection. also went through my miscellaneous stuff really quick. And uh, also didn't really find anything in there as well. So, actually, we may also go upstairs. I don't think I'll film it or anything. I may actually also go upstairs and go through my TV shows as well. Just to see maybe if there's, like, a season of something that I just kind of picked up on a whim. Maybe I'll get rid of that. But anyway, though, I'll probably go through my TV shows, and then we will take everything here to Revolver and uh, see what we can get for everything. Hopefully, we'll get a decent amount of uh, money. All right, guys, we're on our way to Revolver right now. The bag is in the back currently. Uh, I did actually end up going through my TV shows. Mostly, I found just stuff that's, you know, kind of dumb stuff that I have, like, one season of, and it's not even, like, season one, like, season six or something like that probably like stuff I'm never gonna watch so went through that everything's in the bag so now we are heading on to the mall right now to go to revolver and uh, see what we can get for all that stuff hopefully he takes most of it and hopefully I can get a lot of uh, cashola if you know what I mean
guys, back home now and also back in my movie room as well. Just do a little spin around here so, you know, the light isn't shining on my face and that. But yeah, I'm back home now and uh, got my money and everything and actually on the ground right there, if I can, right here, I have the bag full of stuff that he didn't take. So I'll show you guys that really quick and then I'll tell you guys what the final amount was for all of the movies that he took. I didn't take store credit, I took cash. So I'll show you guys that stuff right now and uh, yeah, then we'll close off the video. Just a nice little short video for you guys today. All right, so I'll just show you guys really quick what he didn't end up taking here. So I'll just pull them out like pile by pile and just uh, show you guys what he didn't end up taking. Most of this stuff for my collection was mostly just stuff, you know, from the church sale or just some old stuff that I didn't want or uh you know just stuff i really didn't think i'd ever watch or just kind of garbage stuff like daylight's a really good movie but this copy of it is kind of uh wrecked so uh thought i'd get rid of that one you know miss congeniality that's not mine but king kong this one has like the french version in it and the english version on two discs i don't really like that whole concept i do have the extended version already and uh, this is one of the TV seasons that I decided to get rid of, Mad Men, because I think when people were, uh, when I did my TV show collection, I think I got a couple comments relating to Mad Men and saying that uh, I think a lot of you guys didn't really care for it. So I just thought I'd get rid of it. And uh, yeah, I heard it's like painfully slow, but uh, yeah, my cousin Vinny, of, you know, everybody loves that one, but you know, I already have that movie. Uh, X-Men 1.5, I have that on, I have all the X-Men ones on Blu-ray already, and that was another one of the TV shows, the WWE Tough Enough. I didn't think I'd ever watch that either, but, uh, you know, the fourth tenor, Godzilla I have on Blu-ray already, Starship Troopers I had the super bit of, Talladega Nights, and Blind Spot, this was another one of the TV shows. So, just Mad Men and then this one were the only ones that he didn't take, and, uh, and then the last couple things here, Blades of Glory, I don't like that movie, and then Boondock Scenes, which I already have on the two-disc version. So just a couple uh, couple little things here that he didn't take, and I could probably kind of see why he didn't take any of them. But uh, if, you wanna go, or if you guys want to know the total amount of every single uh, thing he took, he took stacks probably about like this, probably this big, I think, two stacks of everything. And uh, grand total was only 31 bucks, so a little bit disappointing, but uh, it's still a decent amount of money overall, even though I am a little bit disappointed. But anyway, though, just trying to, you know, kind of weed some stuff out and just trying to get rid of some stuff that I didn't really want or care about. But anyway, though, guys, I hope you like this little short kind of vlogish video. So anyway, though. Uh, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, share. Twitter and Instagram links will be in the description down below if you want to follow me on there. Also, be sure to check out my IMDb profile page. Link for that will be also down below in the description of this video. Also, be sure to, uh, to click on the notification bell as well to get notified of future videos. So, a new video every Tuesday and Friday. So, anyway, though, guys, that is about it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you all next time. Alright, now time to put everything back in this bag and lug it upstairs because I have more stuff to do and I'll probably do another uh, little vlog like this soon because I do have more stuff that I do want to get rid of. It's just, he probably would have taken a long time to go through everything if I brought absolutely everything that I was showing you guys and everything. So I did actually kind of weed this down when, uh, just before we went, I whittled it down a little bit more and uh yeah so now i guess let's lug all this back upstairs and uh yeah anyway though doing a, i'll do another one of these vlogs soon maybe during the summer so anyway though thanks for watching see you all next time